President, the President of Guatemala. President, welcome. Nice to see you. It's really a great pleasure to have you be here with you. So, well, pleased to have you. Thank you very much. Mr. All right. Mr. Chan, Mr. Mr. Legal Assistant. Well, come in. This is Senator Baker. Mr. Chief. President Howard Baker, welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. President, thank you, Chosen. Well, it's. Mark, yes. I think I have it was very important how we can uh, interchange feelings and emotions with the people and improve the participation of the government. says your diary shows that King Fahd and you discussed Contra aid when he was here. Bill, you know we're not going through questions of a thing like this, but the error there was discussed. My diary shows that uh, I never brought it up, and it shows that the king, before he left, told me that he was doing uh, that, and that he was going to increase the aid. So that it had been agreed on before, at a lower level? Uh, there was no solicitation that I know of or anything of the kind. I, I did know and been informed that he was helping, and, uh, but I never brought it up. Sir, might you have encouraged him, though, at some point by thanking him for his support for the Contras? Uh, the subject was never broached until he was leaving. He told me what he was doing. And what was your response at the time? I think I expressed pleasure that he was doing that. Lights, please. Thank you. Do you know how Bud McFarlane may have gotten yes, access to that information from your diary, sir? Let's go, please. We've called lights. Let's go, please. I don't want to call lights. You've got to start. Let's go, please. Got another group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Turn that light off. Turn that light off. Nice, please. Thank you. 
President Cerezo, it's been a pleasure to welcome you and to get to know you as a respected democratic leader and as a man of strong conviction. The last time a president of Guatemala visited Washington was in July of 1882. And I don't think we should wait another century before the next meeting. As neighbors, our freedom and security depend on our friendship and cooperation. We owe it to our peoples to remain close and stand shoulder to shoulder in defense of human liberty. As Guatemala's first freely elected civilian president in two decades, you face the challenge of building and protecting democracy while ensuring the economic well-being of your people. Mr. President, your courage and tenacity are well respected here. You have begun a difficult process of economic reform and have taken effective measures to reduce violence and protect human rights. You have supported national reconciliation to heal the wounds of years of political violence. Underscoring your success, Guatemalans of all backgrounds and occupations have rallied to join your democratic crusade. The United States, Mr. President, supports your goals of a strong, economically viable, democratic Guatemala. And we're also pleased that you joined with the other democratically elected presidents of Central America to bring democracy and peace to the region and security to your respective countries. The United States is ready to cooperate with you and other democratic leaders in any process that brings democracy to Nicaragua, which is the key to peace in Central America. Democracy, if it is to have a chance in your region, must not be threatened by a dictatorship bent on expansion and supported and maintained by the enemies of freedom. The United States stands with you and others who seek freedom and would live at peace with your neighbors. Well, President Cerezo, as I bid you farewell, I want to congratulate you once again on your achievements. It's been an honor to have you as our guest, and I look forward to cooperation continued between our two nations in the years ahead. Yes, thank, you. thank you very much. <clears throat> President Reagan, excuse me, I'm going to talk in Spanish for this time. Estimados amigos americanos, estimado Presidente Reagan, vine ahora en representación de Guatemala, un país donde se está construyendo la democracia a decirles al pueblo americano que nosotros estamos construyendo una democracia que quiere ser a la medida y a la imagen de nuestras necesidades. Una democracia que pretende convivir y ponerse al servicio de otras democracias del mundo y de otros pueblos del mundo para conseguir la paz y para contribuir a una sociedad internacional solidaria, respetuosa de los derechos de todos los pueblos. Debo indicar que vine a los Estados Unidos de América no a pedir nada, no a pedir cosas, sino que vine definitivamente a intercambiar ideas y opiniones 
sobre los diversos problemas que confrontamos y que definitivamente debemos de resolver de común acuerdo. Esto para nosotros es muy importante porque estamos tratando de impulsar de parte de nuestro país con otras naciones del mundo una relación de aprecio, de mutuo respeto, poniendo nuestro, nuestra voluntad al servicio de la búsqueda de un destino común en donde nuestro país juegue un papel particularmente importante, tomando en cuenta nuestras aspiraciones, nuestros deseos, nuestras costumbres y nuestra manera de ser. Dear Mr. President, I have to tell that I came to the United States to inform how the Guatemalan people is working now to build democracy in that country. We are working in a process. It's a process built by the Guatemalan people after a long term, a long period of violence and confrontation. We are tired to, be, to see our people killed. We are looking for the peace in our country and in the region. And we came here to discuss how we can contribute with the United States and other countries in our region to build the real peace and the real democracy in our countries. We really believe that democracy, solidarity, and respect of, for, of the other countries is the only one way to build the peace in our region and in the world. Please, all the Americans feel in Guatemala a country friend of the United States, a, fr a country who respect the United States, but who want to be respected by the United States. Thank you very much to re for receiving us. And I have to let you know that uh, our proposal in our country and in the region is to work for democracy and for peace in agreement with everybody and especially with your country. Thank you very much.